Well, have you, as you have heard several times already, my name is Andres Velasco. I'm a senior in North Garland High School. I uh, started scouting in the seventh grade, and I'm now an Eagle Scout from True 57. And I want to very briefly just sort of explain to you what scouting has meant to me and how it's shaped my life. If you could, just for a second, try to imagine and picture a typical shy kid, unconfident and insecure of himself, immigrant, barely learning to speak English, the type of person who would live his days thinking that he just didn't belong around everyone. That was me. But that personality was only artificial. It had to be. It could only be temporary because most of the time I would feel like I had a greater potential, like I was meant for something else, for something better. Yet, I lacked the social skills and courage to stand up for myself and to pave my own path to success. Even the simple thought of doing so frightened me most of the time. It just, it wasn't in me to pick my head up and say, I'm going to set goals up here and reach them somehow. I just couldn't do it at the time. But that's when the reset switch came into my life, scouting. To be honest with you, I at first was insecure about it. I wasn't even sure that being part of a major group was something that I would be comfortable with. I didn't even see the point in it, and it was just something that wasn't in my culture when I was growing up. But now I see how those experiences have changed my life. All of a sudden, there was no more bullying. All of a sudden, there was no more feeling like I didn't belong around everyone. As soon as I stepped into my troop room, uh, Troop 57, the basement of First United Methodist Church, I remember getting a sort of feeling and excitement for something new. All of a sudden, I was surrounded by this sort of conglomerate of people who were more than eager to have me be a part of their family. And I know that to this point, scouting has done a great deal for me. Every experience I've had in scouting has definitely shaped who I am now. All the camping experiences have taught me to be independent. All the random and at times harsh weather has taught me to always be prepared. To, has made me tougher, definitely be prepared, <laughs> has made me tougher, and it has also taught me to make the best out of every situation, no matter how hard to just tackle my obstacles, because I will always have a family of scouting around me to help me. It has also given me new social skills, obviously. <laughs> and that, through scouting, was actually where I saw my uh, leadership birth, through programs such as National Youth Leadership Training and through the various leadership opportunities there are to be had in the troop. It has also taught me responsibility from simple tasks such as making sure that we're ready to go on a camp out and that we're well fed for the weekend. All of a sudden, I saw how there were these ranks that all of a sudden became my goals, and now there was a path before me to follow, and I didn't have to worry about setting one for myself. I could take it one step at a time with others to help me. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that I've been able to see how, especially through scouting, America truly is the land of opportunity. I've been able to see how scouting has changed me personally and brought the true me from within that was just too scared to come out when I was younger. I've been able to see how scouting has helped other individuals go from troublemakers to morally straight leaders, shy kids to outgoing event planners and public speakers. I've been able to see that scouting is definitely a worthwhile experience and that although success may not yet be fully defined at this stage of my life, I am certain that as I prepare to spread my wings and soar to new heights, as I prepare to leave my nest, start a life of my own, be on my own, I can be ensured that I'm on the right path, thanks to the values, morals, and skills scouting has taught me. I can see that thanks to all the leadership skills, all the responsibility I've gained, and all the connections scouting has given me, my vision of growing up to become a CEO or leader of my own company is no longer just a dream. It's a real possibility. Scouting has undoubtedly been the greatest character building organization for youth ever conceived. And without it, young men like myself, young men like Rand Lorandell, would have never had the opportunity to develop into citizen leaders that we are today. The BSA prides itself in molding tomorrow's leaders. So we ask that you please dig down deep in your hearts and help us make this nation even greater in the years to come. Whether it be through donating or simply through encouraging your children, grandchildren, relatives, friends, family members, or even all the other scouts you see around you. Encourage them to continue or to at least take a part in scouting. Because Boy Scouts is definitely, without a doubt, one of the most worthwhile organizations to support. I can still see how scouting can be the difference between someone's life being characterized by achievements and success or regrets and steel bars instead. And at this time, I would also like to encourage all the Cub Scouts and everyone else, all the Scouts that are here, to 
stick it through and make sure you get this patch on your chest because it will mean a lot more to you and it will open a lot more doors than you expect in the future.